legit, we're right back. I'm John Rathlin Eddings. Yes, you are. You already knew. Yes, this is true. Money in the Bank predictions. Yes. Now, a little bit of a plug. I'm going to be part of Russell Rant's internet radio show. Check out his Twitter, at Russell Rant. Uh, that'll be up Thursday. <laughs> but these are our predictions. <laughs> Clarification. Yes, <laughs> you you will not be uh, part of the review. You will be at a Without a Cause. That's an indie wrestling event. Support your local yes. indie wrestling. If you're in the area, the Everett area, please check it out. They deserve plenty more fans. Um, because I want to keep the channel active, that is why I'm reviewing this stuff. So, unfortunately, the next whack show I'm going to be able to be a part of is August. Whack. It's wickety whack. So, yeah, money to make predictions. We get to the kickoff show. The kickoff match was literally just made tonight on SmackDown. Hey. Usos versus Brian and Rowan for the tag titles. It's Brian and Rowan. Yeah, it's going to be Brolin. I mean, wild card rule or not, the Usos are on Raw. Right. We just saw this match. Or maybe they realized that they completely fucking shredded up their uh, tag teams and need the Usos back on. But for now, I'm thinking Brian and Rowan. It's Brian and Rowan, and then you build up another t heavy machinery or something like yeah. that. I mean, that's really the only team you can put on there. What other fucking teams do they have? The Colons? Who the hell cares about them? Probably the Colons. It's true. Their dad didn't care about not keeping Bruiser Brody alive. Sure, but they're not their dad. <laughs> God, I can't believe you would do that. What kind of person would assume that about somebody? Right. So then, yes, but seriously, Brian and Rowan, we then get the Cruiserweight title, Tony Nese, or Tony Nese, that is, versus Arya Dvari. I am going to say... God. Wait, who did I have before? You had Nice. Yeah, I had Nice. We had Nice. Uh, I forgot that I had gotten the results written, or my uh, predictions written down before. Uh, but yeah, Tony Nese, I don't think it's the right time to take it off of him. I know that Arya Davari is growing in popularity as a heel. Right. Um, but, but I don't know if it's the time. <clears throat> and you paid more attention to a 5 Live than I do. I have noticed what they've been doing with Arya Davari. I did, if Nice had won the title, if Nice had held the title since like February, mm -hmm. and it was like three months and okay, but he's only held the title just over a month, give it to him until SummerSlam. I just would be not surprised if 205 Live is done by the end of the year. Yeah. And that they just absorb it into NXT. Just seriously. Make NXT 90 minutes. Have a couple Cruiserweight matches on. Yeah. <clears throat> um, or put them back between Raw and SmackDown because, sorry, you need more You need more material. But, seriously, Tony needs is going to win. I'd be very, very shocked if he lost. We didn't get Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio for the U.S. title. No Dominic on a pole match. Thankfully. That would be uncomfortable <laughs> for everybody. It would be. Uh, but we've got Samoa Joe. Yeah, Samoa Joe, come on. And, 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 yeah. So watch Rey Mysterio win it. But I got nothing against Rey, but he doesn't need a title. Joe, I think, could do some great things by holding it till SummerSlam. Maybe you have Mustafa Ali. If nothing happens with him, maybe you have him challenge Joe for the title. Yeah. That'd be something. That'd be cool. Joe's going to win. We then get, uh, we're saving a lot of our detail stuff for like the bigger matches. Miz versus Shane, steel cage match. Uh, the Miz. Miz. It has to be. He has to get a victory over Shane. Especially since this is going to be the blow off. I mean, fuck your wild card rule. This just doesn't need to, this didn't need to continue past Mania. Give Miz's face run off to a better start. Yeah. It, it's been going good. People are getting it. Uh, but. but. You gotta, you gotta cement it. And the way to do that is give him a good babyface win. And just at this point, <clears throat> what good is it going to do for Shane to win? Because I have a feeling somehow they're going to... It'll gonna... really, really help his ego. It'll, it'll help stroke his ego? Mm. Yes. Yes. Fair Miz, right. though, that's what's going to happen. And then Roman Reigns versus Elias. Haha, <laughs> Roman. Roman. Nothing against Elias. Yeah. I like Elias. Wait, did I have Roman? <clears throat> you did. Okay. You had Roman winning. Roman... Is uh, Roman's gonna win? Yeah. We then have. We'll just do this. We then have the uh, WWE Championship. Kofi Kingston, the champion, versus Kevin Owens. Who do you have and why? A uh, nice big cup of coffee. All right. Why is that? Because it's got to continue. Okay. They gotta continue letting him be champion because he's only had the championship for what a month. <clears throat> Just over a month. Yeah. 
That's a uh, short reign and you don't want it to end that quickly. This is true. I have Kevin Owens winning, but I do not have Kevin Owens winning the title. I have him winning by DQ. Kofi is going to get angry with Owens. Owens is going to keep antagonizing him. Okay. Kofi's going to get DQ'd, <coughs> but he's going to end up beating the shit out of Owens. And because they have heel authority figures are in charge, he's going to get a rematch later. Hmm. Kevin Owens is going to win, but he's not going to win the title. I do, I, would I be shocked if they gave Owens a title? No, I wouldn't. Because they pulled the rug out from under people before. My issue is that they want to keep the rating, if they want to get the rating back up for SmackDown, and nothing against Owens. Owens is not a ratings killer. They can't keep irritating the fans. They can't keep giving the fans everything, but they can't keep irritating the fans. Right. And Kofi having the championship would be a good idea. Plus, it's not like Owens needs to be WWE champion because his universal title run was pretty shit. But I have him winning by DQ because Kofi's going to go nuts, cause a DQ because he's just going to be so infuriated. Kind of specific, but there we go. Uh, then we go with Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. Well, actually, Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans for the Raw Women's title. Who do you have and why? I guess it goes makes sense better when we go in order. Uh, yeah, but we don't know what the order of the card is going to be. Yeah, well, I mean in order of the list that we have. Yeah. But, um, I have uh, Lacey Evans winning, but this is implying that it's after the uh, match with Charlotte. Um, if it's before the match with Charlotte, then I'd have to go Becky Lynch, but... I'd say Lacey Evans um, in this match. <laughs> if if I do agree with you that if this goes on after after the one with Charlotte, then it will probably be Lacey winning. I have Becky winning this. I also have Becky winning and retaining the SmackDown Women's title. Uh, yeah, I also have her beating Charlotte. And I, I'm not saying Lacey won't get the title. If Lacey wins, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I just don't. I just don't know if it's going to be too soon. If they just would give it, if they would give her the title. That, that's. Oh, sorry. And I should say with Lacey Evans, that does not mean that she will have the championship when she walks out. Just that she wins the match. Yes. Which is possible. I mean, look, Lacey is going to get plenty of opportunities. Lacey could be champion very, very soon. She could be champion by the Sunday. It's very possible. I just don't see it happening. I see big things for her. She is very good. I think she's gained to be excellent. She's got the character work down. She's got the mic skills down. She's good in the ring. Yep. And, but I think if you're going to go, again, with marketability, you got the Becky Two Belts thing, keep it going. Now, I'm not saying keep it going too long, because by SummerSlam... Becky too long? <laughs> that rules out Seth. Um, but you need to... <laughs> Mr. Small Package. Yeah. Hashtag Mr. Small Package, but... You need to have this go on a little bit longer. Yep. Will Lacey be affected if she loses? No. I don't think so. Charlotte certainly doesn't need the title. Nope. You got some fresh challengers on Raw and SmackDown. But there are no other women on the brand other than the, the Bond ones. Yeah, I already did a friggin' rant about that. That was my mm -hmm. second women's division rant in a month. The only reason Blondes have more fun in WWE is because they're been just... This is not implying that Lacey and Charlotte do any of that stuff, but it's just what Vince prefers. No, 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 that was not what I was implying I know all. that you weren't. I just say because sometimes people misinterpret what I say. Yeah, but, I, but you didn't say it. You did. did. True. You, you knew what you said. We that So yeah, that's Becky yeah. winning both. I mean, unless, you know, you could be right, Lacey. She could walk out with one title. We think of Rollins versus Styles for the Universal title. Who do you have? Rollins. You have now, you have Rollins winning clean? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any reason AJ needs to win it. He's a great champion, don't get me wrong. But I believe, I mean, if I recall, he wanted, you know, more time to spend with his family. Um, and as a wrestler I know would attest, Holding a championship means you are beholden to the obligations of the company, which means you have to be there. You have to be at every event. You have to be at every signing. You have to do everything that they ask of you. Yeah. Not being champion allows you more freedom. What champion are you talking about? Turner. Oh, right. Turner. 3 2 1 battle? Well, he, he's been champion before. Right. Um. But, no. Right, okay. We're talking about a local guy. Guy you work with, actually. Um, 
I have Rollins winning, but here's here's something that I have happening. Mm -hmm. Rollins and Styles got a big old schmoz going. What ends up happening? That rules out Rollins. We didn't get a bump. Yeah, you say that a lot. I do. I do. I, I, schmoz. I, I do. Oh, schmoz. Oh, I thought you were saying what I said about Rollins. So what happens mm -hmm. is a bump happens where the ref's down, Styles is down, <laughs> Rollins ends up down. Like say phenomenal forearm, Rollins runs into the ref. Rollins hits a low blow, but he's still hurt. Suddenly, lights go out. Spoopy stuff. All the spoop. Two spoops of ice cream. <laughs> and what happens is, of course, Bray's in the ring. Because if you want to cap, if you want to try and salvage this bullshit, have him do something. Um. And great mask by Tom Savini, by the way. He actually was the one to design it. So, you know, just too bad Twisted Metal was the influence. But the whole point is, suddenly lights come back on. Bray's in the ring. Yes. Bray attacks Rollins. New finisher, Sister Abigail, whatever, you know, I mean, I don't care. And then finisher to Styles. Styles, uh, or, you know, Rollins ends up, you know, and the ref's down still. So Rollins then somehow gets an arm across Styles. One, two, three. So Styles doesn't lose clean. The ref doesn't see it. Rollins has no clue what's happened. And that way you have Bray go after Styles at the next pay per view. Right. Rollins gets a tie. Rollins has another championship, you know, match with somebody, or you get it, or you get another match, and you have Bray on the undercard, and you have Bray interfere again. But you don't want to repeat stuff too much. So I would have Styles versus Bray, and then you get Rollins versus somebody. And the way the story goes is Bray puts himself right in the position. If if you want to salvage it, do it this way. Bray says, okay, Rollins, I'm going to come after your championship. But Styles first, I'm coming after you. I mean, he would say yeah. it. He would say it all, you know, yowie, wowie, Wendy. But, you know, he would say something like that. But it would. that's that's how you do it. That's what I would do. Um, that's the most detailed that I can get. All right. And then we get the women's money in the bank ladder match. We get Natty, Naomi, Alexa, and Dana Brooke from Raw. Yes. Dana Brooke in a ladder match in 2019. Anyway, whatever. Um, Bailey, Ember, Carmella, and Mandy Rose from SmackDown. Women's Money in the Bank briefcase. Who do you have and why? Bailey. Okay. Um, I think she's going to start going more and more heel as the match continues. Uh, she's going to start hurting <clears throat> people bad. And hopefully that will allow her to, you know, obtain victory. Um, I'm not opposed to all four of the horse women going, you know, heelish or tweener. It, it, mm -hmm. I mean, Bailey needs some kind of change to her character. And she's worth keeping <clears throat> around. They just need to put in the effort. I don't think Sasha's coming back anytime soon. Somebody said that it's possible Alexa could get taken out by Nikki Cross. And sorry if you're watching this and I don't remember your name, but Alexa's taking out back yeah. Nikki Cross joins. Which is true. Nikki Cross ain't winning the fucking briefcase, so... I'm sorry, she ain't winning the briefcase. Be uh, although cool. the kind of chaos that the Money in the Bank match could make would be perfect for her character. It would be. So you got Bailey. Yes. It's gonna be Mandy Rose. Shut up. Oh, no, no. You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> you know, how do you know what I do with my mouth? Um, so Mandy... Bailey's Bailey winning would be great. I actually, I honestly hope Bailey wins. But here's why I think Mandy's gonna win. Mandy is going. They're gonna go one of two routes. Mandy's gonna win. They're gonna have Sony right. and her as friends. Mandy's gonna get the championship, and then Sonya's gonna want to face her at some point. You know, they're, <clears throat> they're gonna have this Bond thing going. Bond, um, James Bond, um, or bondage thing going. I don't know. I mean, I'm not here to kink shit, <clears throat> but. Mandy is going to eventually get screwed over by Sonya. Sonya's going to beat her for the championship. Okay. And then maybe Bailey wins it down the road, something like that. You build something there. Mandy is going to, I, I or Sonya is going to screw her over on the cash in. Mm -hmm. But Mandy's going to win the briefcase. Now, do I think that Mandy is ready? I don't know. I mean, it, it, she's better in the it'll, ring. It'll, than, well, having the money in the bank doesn't mean that she's going to be champion that night. True. Uh, they could use it to build up her character more. You know, a looming threat over Becky Lynch or whoever's right. champion. And right. then, uh, but as that continues, tensions become higher between her and Sonya. 
I agree. No, and I think with Mandy, yeah. I was wrong about Mandy. She's better than I thought in the ring. I'm not saying she's great, but she throws. She's some good really, enough. Yeah, she throws some really good knees, really good knee strikes and stuff like that. If you're gonna pull the trigger on it, why not? They gave Alexa uh, the briefcase last year when Alexa's been basically made of glass. Yeah. And should not be in this match. But yeah, we differ on that. And then we go with the men's Money in the Bank briefcase. Oh, it's not Braun Strowman, by the way. Sami Zayn's in there. Which, whatever. Neither, uh, <laughs> neither of them were our predictions. No, Zayn, Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, or as you say... Ricochet. Baron Corbin, who should not be in there. Mustafa Ali. Fabulous. Ali Ababwa. Finn Balor, the Intercontinental Champion, by the way. That shows what they think of his title. Versus Randy Orton versus Andrade. Who do you have? I have the Dark Horse pick. I've got Mustafa Ali. Mm -hmm. um, I think they can use the money in the bank to regain his momentum. Mm -hmm. um, him and Kofi, you know, start off a little amicable, but Kofi loses his championship before Mustafa can cash it. Or he loses it to a heel, then like at SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. And Mustafa cashes in the money in the bank on the heel mm -hmm. and takes the championship from him. And then Kofi. Uh, gets more upset. Yeah. I understand. I'm not saying turn Kofi heel, but... No. I really like your idea. I think you can cash in on Owens if they decide to give Owens the championship. By the way, you know what they're probably going to do? They're probably going to angle to have Shane somehow win the WWE title, and then Roman's going to take it from him at SummerSlam. Mm. You know they do it. So, it's going to be Drew McIntyre. That's <clears throat> probably the most solid choice of all. He's he charismatic, he's strong... All that beef. Yeah, he's got talent. He's got every goddamn thing that Vince wants. He's the total package, ladies. <laughs> and or gentlemen. I'm not here to kink shame. That's or shame. Or shame at all. Right. Um, yeah, Drew, though. <laughs> we have a community here. <laughs> the gay community? I mean, there's that, too. There is, there is that. So... We, <laughs> you have Ali, I have Drew. Right. So we differ on that. So let us know your predictions. Leave them down in the comments. Once again, my prediction is I won't be drooling over Ember Moon. Not until you maybe watch the match later. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, so Derb's drooling aside, agree, disagree, what we said. What are your yes. predictions? Leave them in the comments. Hit like, hit dislike, hit subscribe. Yeah. And once again, Derb at the Indie Show, I will be riding solo. So if it's a bad show, you are going to get a scathing rant. People are going to hope for a bad show. Anyway, I'm John Ritland. That is the Derbinator. And we will see you, well, we will see you next Monday. Yes.